From what little experience I have, I believe that at the end of the day, using Linux is about gaining the freedom to customize. With customization comes a great variety of choices, especially distros. There are many distros that are geared towards beginners like me. For one, there is Debian, which is a user-friendly operating system that has a desktop environment out of the box, which allows for a seamless transition into the Linux world. There is Linux Mint, one of the highest ranked distros on DistroWatch. There are also Manjaro, Fedora, Elementary OS, and so many more that cater to the needs of a newcomer. So naturally, I chose Arch Linux as my first Linux distro. Turns out, starting with Arch Linux as a complete Linux beginner may not be the greatest idea of all time. My first ever personal computer was the MacBook Pro 2015, which is also the only computer I have ever owned. Transitioning from the Mac OS to Arch, from GUI to the command line, from a floating window manager to a tiling window manager was a complete nightmare at first. But being the good old stubborn me, I decided to try anyways. First of all, I had to buy a ThinkPad. This step alone took weeks, as although a ThinkPad is cheaper than the average modern laptop, I am still a college student. After procuring the necessary funds through campus work, I was able to get a used ThinkPad. Yeah, can't wait to um, see if this is a scam or not. Oh, a lot of packaging. This is a. This is the charger. And oh, that's that's a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, very good. And I think we can remove the box. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. Wow. It's a little dusty. As you can see, it's an X220, if I can get to, yeah, there we go, X220. Um, that is indeed a very nice keyboard. A trackpad, a mouse, tra uh, I the track point, or whatever it's called, uh, I'm a noob, okay? Do I see some green lights? I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but oh. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I have no idea how to boot into the um, BIOS. I'm gonna, I probably have to look it up, but um, oh, okay. I have no idea how to use this track point, which I will have to learn because it is apparently very good. Yeah, I'm gonna use the track point for now. I then checked the BIOS to see if the infamous BIO password and the CompuTrace were enabled. So many people on the forums warned me to watch out for these two as they could make my life a whole lot worse. Thankfully, my ThinkPad had neither enabled. Beginner's luck, eh? Alright, uh, some good news. Uh, I've been messing around with the BIOS for the last couple of minutes. I've been talking to the friend from Reddit a couple of minutes. And, it, and after some exploration, it seems like there, uh, there was CompuTrace, but um, it was disabled, so it was well. I mean, it was not activated, so that so that was no problem. And as you can see, I'm in the password area, and it seems like it's all disabled. After resetting my SSD entirely, I plugged in my USB with the Arch Linux installer and began following the wiki instructions. Following the Arch wiki went better than expected. All I had to do was read the instructions and copy down the important commands. Easy enough. That must have been it. Right? WRONG! I encountered my greatest adversary when I tried the command packstrap slash mount base linux linux dash firmware. I still see that error message in my dreams at night, waking me up in a puddle of sweat with my heart pumping at 10,000 beats per minute. Over the course of the next few weeks, I scoured the web for possible solutions. I grasped at every single potential answer, even on the most obscure forums from over a decade ago. At first, I tried installing Arch Linux on VirtualBox to see if it is the Wi-Fi issue. As a college student, I use the campus Wi-Fi, which frequently blocks a variety of websites. So it is not that far-fetched to assume that the institutional Wi-Fi may be preventing me from the holy haven of Linux. But when I tried installing on VirtualBox, it worked. So just a quick update, uh, I went through and you know installed everything, like installed all the partitions and whatnot, 
and I try running the this command again, and guess what? <laughs> so my guess is that it's something to do with my uh, ThinkPad or something with the Ethernet. I don't know. So that couldn't be it, right? I also thought it could be a timed HTTL issue from a Reddit comment, but the installation didn't work even after I corrected the time. For weeks, I tried every proposed solution, but nothing worked. Just when I was about to give up all hope, I decided to try fixing the Wi-Fi again one last time. This time, I used my handy Raspberry Pi to create a wireless access point. I connected my ThinkPad to my newly created hotspot, and subsequently... Let's go! Fixed it! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh no. So it was the Wi-Fi issue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so basically what I did was like the date thing didn't work. So I got on my uh, handy um, Raspberry Pi. I created my own, you know, like a uh, hotspot, I guess. Okay, so basically I created a um, hotspot you know, uh, with OpenVPN I believe it's called. I saw someone making a Wi-Fi hotspot with it. So I created a hotspot there, I connected it here, and then boom. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh no, <laughs> okay, it was the Wi-Fi issue. It was the institutional Wi-Fi. My college, how could you? <laughs> So Arch Linux is finally installing, um, I'm finally going to be able to make some progress. I'll be back in a few seconds after I yell out loud a few, for a few, uh, a few more times. This little issue cost me weeks and weeks of progress, since apparently no one tried installing Arch Linux using WPA Enterprise Wi-Fi before. Or maybe I just suck at searching online. Either way, I was able to complete the rest of my setup with relative ease and finally earned a cool Linux user badge everyone from r slash Unix porn has. I finished my initial ThinkPad Arch setup back in April, but I still had a long way to go. I was still encountering several issues, such as segmentation fault, and long startup times. My computer was also completely barren, defaults everywhere. But hey, it all worked out in the end. I am getting acclimated to the Linux world day by day as I use my ThinkPad for basic tasks. I'm even writing this script on my ThinkPad. If I were to give honest, genuine advice, if you have never played around with Linux or the command line before, starting with Arch Linux is not that bad of an idea. Sure, you will have a tough time in the beginning. You will be searching for answers on the internet 90% of the time. You won't be getting any work done. But you'll learn from the progress. After everything, I still don't regret starting with Arch Linux. In fact, I have been enjoying myself a lot configuring settings and adding personal features. I recommend others to give it a shot as well. It will be more work, but it'll be work that pays off. Hey everyone, it's been a while since the last video, huh? A lot has happened in the meantime, namely the pandemic. I hope all of you guys are staying safe and, you know, uh, following the safety precautions. But focusing on the good news, uh, we hit 100 subscribers. I can't believe that there are actually uh, over 100 of you guys watching my videos. So thank you so much and I will continue to make videos. I also made a personal website where I'll be uploading text versions of my videos and more. I've already uploaded a couple of posts about uh, my other summer project, the web server, and the project I started recently, which is like an AI machine learning one. So feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching today's video, and I will see you very soon. Not nine months this time. Oh, and one last detail.